Hello guys and welcome to yet another video. So in this video, I kind of want to do a physique update for you guys. Talk a little bit about the diet that I'm currently on, the nutrition, how it's going, how it's making me feel, how much longer I have left, if I do have any more time left, what the plan is after. And then I also just want to introduce you guys to a couple of friends. Um, one guy in specific that's been in my life for a very, very, very long time. I consider it a very long time. He's been around through a lot of things. He's listened to a lot of my stories. And same with Novet. He's always been there for Novet. He's a lovely friend, an amazing trainer, um, an amazing musician. And along with his girlfriend, she is a lovely human being. So we go, we went and played board games with them. So I'll show you guys a little bit of a clip of that, introduce you guys to them. So, anyways, to get started, yes, as you guys have seen in my previous video, what I ate in a day, I am currently at a 1500 calorie diet. I am at an actual big deficit because my usual is roughly 2100 calories. That's my maintenance calories. In order to lose a pound, a pound is 2,500 calories, so I should be losing over a pound. Now, weight loss isn't that simple, especially fat loss. I'm not trying to lose muscle mass. I'm trying to maintain or build muscle mass, actually, and just lose fat. Right now, my current weight is 122.4 when I woke up today. However, my lightest was two days ago, 121.2. I managed to lose, I started with 126, so I managed to lose five pounds in the span of five-ish weeks, so that's awesome. I wasn't at a 15 cal 1,500 calorie diet to begin with. I was actually at a higher calorie. I think I was at 1,800, then I dropped to 1,700, then 1,600, now finally to 1,500, so I'm slowly do dropping it. On top of that, I haven't been doing cardio at all. I've mostly just been focusing on lifting. I started doing cardio now. By the way, guys, if you hear any background noises, or talking, it's because I have Jasmine Garcia up on my TV. I watch her and Nikki Blackader all the time. They're huge inspirations. They inspire my YouTube. They actually are the reason why I started YouTubing. Not because I want to be like them or anything, but because they're amazing souls and they gave me gave me the courage to actually talk to you guys. Anyways, to continue on. Um, so now being in the fifth week, almost the end of the fifth week, um, I'm definitely starting to feel it now in the sense that I am tired. My muscles have been getting more sore and I think that's also why I weighed in heavier today as opposed to two days ago. Not because of any nutrition, I haven't passed my nutrition, I haven't done anything wrong. I've eaten a high sodium food and just being tired, I think you just carry naturally more body weight. Um, my muscles are very sore so your body does use water and retain water to help your muscles recover. Other than that, the diet itself has been amazing. As you guys saw in my what what I eat in a day, I've actually switched over from what I usually do. I usually do very high carb, low fat diets. And now I am currently doing a very um, high protein, high fat, and low carb diet, which I was so scared of when I first started. I thought there was no way I would do it. But surprisingly, it's easier, way easier than I thought. I'm on a 1500 calorie diet and I'm actually never, never hungry. I don't have cravings and for a long while, I actually had really great energy. Um, I started off with like massive cravings the first two weeks, but after the two weeks passed, it was honestly much easier. Now it's even harder because it's a low carb diet. I'm not on the keto, by the way. I'm eating at um, a minimum of 80 grams of carbs. So I still have, if you guys watch my what I'm eating the day video, I still have pancakes, I had jam on there. But I usually have my carbs in the morning because they fuel the rest of the day and they give me a great workout and so forth. The way that I manage to keep my cravings down is because I keep a very good balance. So let's say like in that day I really want to eat um, frozen yogurt. I'll just save all my carbs. Like I'll eat very low, low carb food. Like no fruits, no pancakes, just eggs, bacon, that kind of stuff and leave my carbs for the end of the night when I want to go and have frozen yogurt. Um, on the weekend, I didn't even have a refeed, but I decided to have a burger, but it fit in my macros because I actually fasted throughout the day. 
have my burger and then I had something small after that but I actually lost weight the day after that's when I the day after the burger was when I weighed in at 121.2 so maybe I just need another burger but anyways that's what I'm trying to say is that you don't have to eliminate all the foods that you love you shouldn't because as soon as you're out of that diet you are gonna binge you're gonna binge like no other and that's what happened to me post competition so what I always try and encourage my clients and I'll encourage you guys watching is don't treat it like a diet treat it like a lifestyle now I'm no nutritionist so don't listen to what I say when it comes to like deficits and all that stuff that's honestly entirely up to you and how your body feels you should be doing what you want to do but this comes from experience and so I just found that that's always helped with my cravings and this is why I don't binge and I won't binge after this whole dieting scheme because right now I do consider myself to be dieting because I wouldn't be at this deficit otherwise. Post refeeds you will actually have better energy, you'll have better workouts, get a good pump and after that you'll be able to lose even more weight because you'll be able to expend more energy now in the next two weeks i am definitely doing cardio i'm upping that to help me lose more weight um because it's just two weeks so i can just grind it for the next two weeks and i know that for sure again keep it a balance don't if you go and eat a bad food don't make it the whole day a bad food otherwise the next day will most likely be another bad food day and the day after and then you just kind of ruin your whole progress there right so find the balance I usually just have one bad meal and that's it and sometimes I'll have a bad meal one day and the next day and the next day but I'm staying within my macros so I don't end up gaining weight um, obviously as your calories lower your bad meals can't be as bad makes sense right but at that point, the, the reason for your goal will be bigger than the reason to eat a bad food, if that makes sense. But yeah, post the competition, um, I'm planning to do a reverse diet. So reverse dieting will be slowly just increasing my calories. And by the end of it, we should be able to increase your calories by way more. So my maintenance calories should be higher than 2,100. And then I'll do another cut. and. What a refeed does though too is that it helps you kind of maintain the same look while increasing your calories. So I don't plan on gaining much weight, maybe like 2-3 pounds. And then I'll plan on cutting again, losing even more weight. And ta-da! And that's how actually bodybuilders or like um, some of those Instagram models and stuff, that's how they're managed to eat a lot more and still maintain a small figure so obviously I'll take you guys through that I'll explain that more when the time comes but that is where I currently stand so I'll do a little physique update for you guys okay guys so here is my actual physique update now so I'm just gonna actually measure for you guys and just give the dimensions of my body on hair so much information um, so So my chest is at a comfortable 34, wow, okay, my, my waist is at a 26, so actually it hasn't changed a lot, and my hips. interesting aspect of this, I'm actually kind of bloated today, um, the interesting aspect of it is even though my dimensions haven't changed, clothes are actually fitting me differently, like my shorts are looser and everyone's noticed that, um, I can, I feel more confident now not like wearing a shirt if I don't work out or like wearing a crop top and I'm not too subconscious of my stomach. But anyways, I'm just going to do a full turnaround so you guys can see it. But I want you guys to understand that it's not all on the numbers, it's not all on the scale. And I'm very happy with where my body is at now. 
Um, I know I put in a lot of work and I feel good. I actually feel very confident in my body for once and I feel very comfortable, which took me a while to feel since my competition. So anyways, this is the front. Okay, um, I actually tend to, on some days, see my abs and I made posts about this, which is crazy. I haven't had that in a long time. On the side, But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys um, enjoy getting to know uh, our friends. And please do like, subscribe, comment, any advice you have. Or see my shoulders have popped out. I haven't had that in a long time. Anyways, suggest any other videos you guys want to see. If you want to see more videos like this, please do like it. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you guys for watching my videos and for making my dream come true, I guess, because I've dreamt of being more heard and heard of, I guess, and people are listening to me. People are watching my videos, and I couldn't be more thankful for that. So, have an amazing, fantastic day. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh. Hola minions and welcome to yet another video. So um today's Sunday, we did our boot camp and all of that, and then we're gonna go see some friends, John and Mel. You haven't met them yet, so I will probably introduce you guys to them. And we're just gonna go and play board games, which is what we usually do. He's just driving us. <laughs> and so yeah, hope you guys enjoy a little bit of that. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, so I'm at Cap no, Pizzeria Ludica. And I'm with my friends, John and Mel. So I know John through work way back at Steve Nash, and so we just decided to come here and do our usual, have some food, which I, Navette and I already ate. Navette disappeared from here. Much like Navette and I left Steve Nash, so did John. So I'll put his Instagram in there, and then you guys can kind of check him out. He's also a local trainer from Burnaby, Vancouver-ish area. So if you guys want to check him out, he does cool stuff, and he does music and all that stuff, so support him and all that kind of stuff.